A block of mass 4 kilograms, which has an initial speed of 6 meters per second, at time t equals 0, slides on a horizontal surface. Part A. Calculate the work W that must be done on the block to bring it to rest. Well, to bring the block to rest, the friction must remove all the kinetic energy from the block. It will do negative work in order to remove energy, which means we're going to want to use work energy theorem, which states that the work is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object. And change in kinetic energy we can expand as 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared, where of course our object is coming to rest, so v final will be zero and we can eliminate the first term, which means that the work done to bring the object to rest will be equal to negative of the initial kinetic energy. Plugging in our values, we get negative 72 joules. If a constant friction force of magnitude 8 newtons is exerted on the block by the surface, determine the following. B. The speed v of the block as a function of time t. In order to solve for v as a function of t, we're going to want to use a kinematics equation. We're also introducing a force into the problem, which means that our object is going to undergo acceleration. Because the force is in the left direction, assuming our object is moving to the right, we can use Newton's second law to write out an equation to solve for the acceleration of the block. The problem tells us that the magnitude of the friction force is 8 newtons, but because this object is slowing down, we know that the force of friction must be negative. So solving for A, we can divide negative 8 by 4, and we will get an acceleration of negative 2 meters per second squared. Now to find the velocity as a function of time, we're going to want to use the kinematics equation V final equals V initial plus acceleration times time. We know that the initial velocity was 6 meters per second, and that the acceleration was negative 2. So now we have our speed as a function of time, meaning we can plug in any time and that will tell us what the speed of the block will be at that time. Part C, find the distance x that the block slides as it comes to rest. So we can use one of two options for part C. The first is to use a kinematics equation that uses change in position rather than time. And that happens to be v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2a delta x. And again, our velocity final is going to be zero because the object is sliding to rest. Subtracting the 2a delta x over to the left hand side, we can solve for velocity initial, or sorry, we can solve for delta x and we get nine meters. Another way to solve for the displacement of the block is to use the work equation, work is equal to force times distance. In this case, we don't need the sine theta because our object is just moving in one dimension. Plugging in these values and solving for d, we get also 9 meters.